Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malevsky, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Sitting in my hot seat is a very special guest, Odette Har Evan yeah, yeah, from you got it Achilles, right. <laughs> Achilles, like yeah. Achilles. Yeah. Is it spelled Achilles like Achilles' heel? It's not spelled the same way. How do you spell it? Yeah, so it's A K E Y L E S S. There's no key. There's no key. Yeah, this is yeah. so cool. There's no key. There's so no vulnerability, right? Wow. So we're dealing with key management? Key and secrets management. Yeah, mostly. Secrets is like the, the term. Is yeah. there a problem with key management? There's a lot of problems with keys management. But you know what? Let's talk first about the technology that made us, that made us to do what we do, right? So Tell we, us. We started uh, like 18 months ago with a very uh, innovative technology that allows us to basically perform any kind of uh, cryptographic operations using fragments of encryption keys without ever combining those fragments. So imagine that you have the key to your own house, but it fragmented on different places, and you'd never need to combine those fragments in order to enter to your home. So there's never a key, there's nothing to steal. So Dad, so many companies have a breach all over the globe, but America's a big target. Why? You know, Willie Sutton, the old bank robber, why do I rob banks? Because that's where the money is. We have these breaches, and I talk to CISOs all the time, Chief Information Security Officers, mm -hmm. and their answer is, well, I didn't have encryption, mm -hmm. so I better get encryption. And then they say, I have encryption, but I didn't manage the keys right. I hear these stories over and over again. And then they go through the revolving door. They go to the next job, and they go, ah, that'll never happen to me again. It sounds like you might have a solution for them. Yeah. Describe how easily it's deployed and who is your target audience. Okay, that's very easily deployed because what we're providing is as a service. Our, our very innovative technology, what it made us to provide is just basically a SaaS, right? What we provide is security as a service. It's key management as a service. In the cloud? Yeah, it's in the cloud. That's the whole thing. How are you securing keys in the cloud? That's great that you asked because basically imagine that you have fragments on different cloud providers. So no one has your whole key. There's another fragment on the customer side. So whenever the, the customer is doing is performing those encryption, right, then we, you never need to combine those keys and no one sees your key. So basically we solve that problem of how do you do encryption on the cloud while no one can have your key. I've Not never heard this before. You've shredded my key into pieces. No, that, even better. It was never created as whole. So we create fragments to begin with. This is brilliant. Yeah. That's why you, you, you had me here, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a hot seat. <laughs> and you're doing great in the interview. So how hard is it to get this rolling? So for example, let's say I'm Coca-Cola and I don't want Pepsi to get my secret formula. Yeah. Not that you know they're fighting over secret formulas, but allegedly Coke's formula has not been discovered in over 100 years. Yeah. And you know, one day somebody at another firm, maybe Pepsi or another one, says, I really would like to know a little bit more about their formula. What if they move their formula from the secret vault yeah. to the cloud? Okay, so that's very easy. We provide plugins, APIs, command line interfaces, web, like web, uh, web user interface, and whatever you need in order to just go to a website, download uh, the plugins for Kubernetes and you know uh, Jenkins, all the cloud platforms basically. Just download them, plug in, and you start working and managing your secrets and keys. Now, if I may, um, it's important to also to to understand that we took that technology of encryption and digital signature, and we've added a layer of, you know, looking at the markets and say, okay, what's is it, what is it there to encrypt? Because as you said, not a lot are using those encryption, right? Because mm -hmm. they are, they're trying to focus on, on, on certain use cases. And when we searched for it, we found that secrets, which are passwords and certificates and SSH keys, and all of those objects that are being made in the cloud, are being used in the cloud in order to authenticate and authorize between containers, this is the real thing coming up in the cloud. This is a real problem. Wow. Of how do you manage those secrets? So we leverage our technology in order to secure those objects that will never be stolen. And those are real stuff. Like Uber has those uh, yeah. leaks and, and HBO and you Scotia Bank and you name it. It happens all the time. Those API keys that go to GitHub and so on. So our unique way is to provide it as a service while we as a service provider can access your secret and keys. And imagine that. You can now manage keys and secrets on the cloud while it. you stay the owner of those objects. So shadow IT, right? This is a big problem. This sounds incredible. So, you know, I've got one guy in one office who's a salesman and he says, you know what, I really like using Zoho CRM. Yeah. I've got another guy using Salesforce CRM. Yeah. Another person, you know, a woman's in the team, she's using um, one of the other tools, let's say uh, Sugar CRM or uh, I don't know what a big one is yeah. today, but we've got all these... Uh, 
HubSpot, right? Yeah. So we got three different CRMs, but we're all only supposed to be using Salesforce. Yeah. And now they've got their passwords, they've got their keys, and then they leave the company. What happens when that you know when that they go to another business? So that's a known problem of privileged access management, which which we also uh, provide a solution for, where basically uh, secrets that are passwords of humans, right? So we offer a solution for password management, also uh, and also a v very neat like a, a web extension for Chrome, so for you can to manage that. And we have role based management in order to make sure that every employee that goes, uh, you know, that uh, goes. Uh, um, how do you say? Um, well, I get it. Our back, role-based access. Yeah, control. yeah, yeah. yeah. Our back. Yeah. Exactly. So when the when the employee leaves the company, exactly. Don't you think that HR needs to start getting involved with the IT department on all this key management? Well, you stuff? found that in identity management years ago. That's not a new idea, though it was not being implemented right for many, many years. It, it's tough. The CISOs' life are tough. I I, I feel for them. I, I understand them. Very so much. last year at a trade show, big one, RSA, I said to people, "Will I am fix?" Uh, you know, this security breach problem in SaaS. And someone said to me, Will I am, isn't that that famous musician? Will identity and access management? I yeah. think it will do it with your solution. Yeah, so it's very important to emphasize that what we provide is for I, um, like infrastructure as a service, okay? For any company that has like a multi-region, multi-cloud infrastructure, if they had to use the current solutions out there provided by the cloud providers or any open source or commercialized um, solutions for secrets and keys management, mm -hmm. they need to work either hard in order to deploy it on their own mm -hmm. or to use the cloud service provider where there is a, you know, you you need to trust them and where's the key and who hold my key and they they have they have access to your keys and so on and basically they don't support multi cloud and hyper cloud very good so this is what we provide the cloud agnostic service which is completely zero trust and zero knowledge no one can touch your keys and secrets and that's what we do this is awesome so the company is 18 months old mm -hmm. you have um um, any clients uh, that you could talk about, or they don't want to? Yeah, be so we're gonna we're gonna launch soon. We're gonna launch soon. We raised like a, uh, eight months ago uh, our first round, our Great. first seed round, and we have beta sites, yeah, and design partners, and we, it's gonna be very soon. Like, and you're an award-winning company. Yeah, that's, so that's, that's true. What website are we going to send our users to learn more about you? Okay, Achilles.io, A-K-E-Y-L-E-S-S.io. Achilles, think of it as we sold the Achilles heel of the encryption and secrets world, right? I love and it. And that's without keys, keyless, Achilles.io. Oh, what a great interview. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I'm going to tell our viewers, this is a double entendre. It's Achilles heel that he solved with A-K-E-L-E-S-S. A-K-E-Y. Oh, A-K-E-Y. L-E-S-S, thank you. A-K-E-Y-L-E-S-S dot I-O. Dot I-O. Yeah. Check them out. Learn more about this key management and how do you take your secrets and your passwords and not lose them anymore. They've never been put together this way in any way that I've ever heard. So this is we're going to keep an eye on you. This is exciting. Thank you. And then visit us next time at cyberdefensetv.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.